Hey, it's Gavin here. I hope you're well. I've got a 10 minute workout for you, a bit of a cardio burn. So we're gonna get the lungs fired up, boost the metabolism, while at the same time working the legs. So the, the thighs, the butt, the hammies, all that jazz. So I'm not gonna hang around, I'm gonna go straight into this. So if you're watching live, awesome. Give me a like, give me a share, say hello, pop a comment down below, something like that. And if you're watching the replay, good stuff as well. Make sure you do say hello. So first up, gonna get a little bit of a stretch on the way before we get cracking. So I said mainly leg oriented workout, but getting the lungs going at the same time. So I just wanna prime these legs, get them ready for action before we get going. So I'm gonna give it about a minute from now. I said I'm not gonna hang around. So if you've just tuned in, make sure you say hello, pop a like down there, share it. Actually, it's good to get in the habit of, uh, of sharing because then it becomes on your page on your uh, on your profile so you can revisit the workouts that I give you which is not a bad idea so anyway it is Wednesday and the family are out so I've got the space to myself which is always good no kids running around today in the background or coming in and getting in the way <laughs> it's just always fun and you've got two little mites uh, coming in going daddy daddy can you do this for me it's like no I'm doing a workout I'm, I'm live they're not around today, so we're good. We've got 10 minutes, we can crack on. All right, shake it out a little bit. Going with the old quad stretch. So kick one, butt up, knees together, push your hips forward. Common mistake with this one is when people do kick it up, they've got that front knee way too far out in front. So you gotta get that knee behind, so bring your shoulders back, push your hips forward. You're gonna get a much better stretch out of that one there. Same on the other side. Now, as I said, it's cardio burn. We have 10 minutes, five exercises. We're going to go 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. So I hope you're ready for this one. First exercise is a very, very simple one. It's a stance jack. I'll show it while we get the time running. So a stance jack is this one. Hop to side, push your butt out. It's not a squat. So legs are going to bend a little bit, but I'm not dropping into this position, okay? So here we go. Stance jacks is the first one. 45 seconds of work. Get stuck in, here we go. So reaching down towards the floor, kind of mid shin level. If you can reach all the way down, awesome. But what we're looking for is this position. So making sure that back does stay in good shape. Get your breathing in rhythm as well. And away we go. So it's kind of like a warm up exercise. If you can't do that one, you need something a bit more low impact than a step to the side. That's absolutely fine as well. Remember you're going at your own pace with these workouts. So whether you can copy me, and keep pace with me, great, but if you're a little bit slower, you need to adjust each exercise, that's absolutely fine as well. I'll try and accommodate for you and offer you a few different alternatives that you can do. So we're coming to the, the end of this one. We're gonna get one more. We've got 15 seconds rest, and we've got a squat with a tap. So this time, again, chin up, back straight, shoulders back. We're gonna squat down, feet a little bit wider than the shoulder width apart. Sitting into the squat, come up, reach for the shin or the heel, back in the squat and across. So if you're ready, let's go. So squat and tap. I see a couple of likes popping off on the screen now, which is always good. Shows me that I'm doing something right here and the people are actually watching this. So spring out of it. And once again, keep your head up. As soon as your chin drops down, what happens is your back goes into this ugly looking position. We wanna try and avoid that as much as possible. So shove your butt back. Here we go. So breathe, find a rhythm, spring out of it. Kind of like a jack in a box coming up. Nice and fast, pushing through those heels and sit on the heels on the way down too. Last couple of seconds. Boom, relax, shake it out. Our next one is a high knee lunge combo so this is taking the intensity up a little bit I want eight high knees followed by a lunge each side so we're gonna go one two three four five six seven eight lunge and lunge now if you can't do the high knees then just a one two three four five six seven eight or even slow it down on with a march you can still do the march quick okay so you ready i'll show you for the side for the lunge so we're going one two three four five six seven eight Lunge one, lunge two. Notice in the lunge, I've got a right angle each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lunge, 
lunge. Make sure that front knee doesn't go over the toes. Lunge, lunge. Now I'm doing a rough count there, so we've not got a long left. Lunge. One more time. Come on, keep pushing. Lunge and lunge. Great stuff. Looking good so far. 15 seconds rest. Next up we have boxing jacks or punch jacks. So, like a jumping jack from down low, you're just gonna hop your feet to the side. But rather than throwing your arms up in the air, you're gonna punch. Okay, so here we go. So, jack and punch, jack and punch. Like once again, if you struggle with the jumping jack, step, step. That's absolutely fine, but try and up the pace here. Here we go. Living the dream now, we're getting warm. Starting to feel it. Come on. It's only 10 minutes of work here. So, time to turn it up a little bit. See what you've got in the tank. Let's make these 10 minutes worthwhile. Come on now. Fast feet. Keep on it. Good job, good job. Here we have 15 seconds rest again. Haggy, how are you? I've not seen you live for a while. Okay. Obviously, we've seen your comments on the, some of the other routines. But here we are live. So nice to see you again. All right, next one, squat and pulse. So you're going to come down into a squat position. And you're just going to bounce. Very, very simple. Okay. Push your knees up to the side. Weight still sitting on the heels. Watch your back position. So we'll stay low. Just that little bounce. You want to go as low as you can go without your back starting to dip this way around. So whether that's 90 degrees or even a little bit higher, it depends on your flexibility, what you've got going on. And just enjoy it. Little, little bounce. So it should be burning up a little bit around about now. Five, four, three, two, one. Boom, relax, good stuff. All right, second and final round. So we're going in the stance jacks again. Stance jacks, if you need that alternative, that step, absolutely fine. But try and bring in a little bit more pace. Try and make it a little bit more intense. Are you ready? Let's go, stance jack. So it's that hop and drop, stick your butt out, but keep it high. All right, so it's not a squat. Make sure you're not squatting. Quick feet now. Come on, you can turn it up a gear. Let's bring that intensity level up. So for this next, what, four or five minutes, I want you to really turn it on and see what you've got. Who knows, it might surprise yourself. So keep going, keep going. Big effort, 12 seconds left. Come on, dig in deep these last few seconds. Change it up, go, go, go. There we go, nice job. 15 seconds rest, deep breaths. <laughs> All right, five seconds. Squat and tap. All right, watch your head position, back position. Let's go, up, jack in a box out of it. Breathe as you come up, bang. By bringing the knees up as well, you're engaging the abs. Down tall. Come on, legs. Starting to feel a little bit tired now. You've got to try and push through that. 15 seconds to go. Up and at it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good stuff, breathe. All right, so the high knee lunge combo. Eight, two, eight, two. If you have to do the march, one, two, make sure it's a little bit quicker. Try and get through as many combos as you can. Starting now. All right, I'll do it from the side so you can see the lunges. One, two, three, four, eight. Again, watch your 
your knees as you lunge make sure they don't go over the toes one two 20 seconds to go one two All right, eight seconds to go. One more time. Nicely done. All right, so the boxing jacks. Again, the alternative, step, step. Otherwise, come and join me and let's get as many punches in as you can in this 45 seconds. Let's go. So start strong, don't hold back, let's let it rip, quick feet, come on, big effort, it's all about the footwork here, get those feet in and out quickly, it's 15 seconds to go, come on, stay with me, you got this. Come on. Over the finish line. Here we go. Nice. Enjoyed that one. All right. So this is it to finish. Squat pulse. Come join me in five seconds or so. Get low in that squat. Chin up. Shoulders back. Chest out. Here we go. Take it down low. And bounce. Weight on the heels, so you should be able to wiggle the toes, okay? All right, here we go. This is it, last 30 seconds coming up. Grit your teeth, bite your tongue, hold on. There's gonna be lots of thoughts entering your head telling you to stop right about now. You gotta say, bang, get out. We're still going. 20 more seconds. This is where your back's gonna get tired. Keep your chin up, stick your butt out. Oh yeah, burning now. 10 seconds. Come on. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand tall. Well done. Good stuff there. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's just 10 minutes. Very little space needed. Could even use a smaller space than this. So it's always something that you can do at home. And if you're busy, whether you look after kids or you work at home, you struggle to get to the gym, that's something you can do. Just 10 minutes, boost your metabolism. It's good for the head as well, you know? If you're stuck at home, it's good to get a little work in, make you feel good. It's good for the soul, good for productivity, I find anyway. <laughs> All right, so let's stretch it out. If you were following along with that one, make sure you uh, pop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of that one. Let me know if there's anything else you wanna work on. Now, if there's any particular routines that you might like me to do so i'm all ears i'm here for you so let me know what you fancy and i'll see what i can rustle up for you so hip flexors here big long stride much longer than a lunge here notice how this back knee is way behind the hips that's going to give me a better stretch up here you might find you're a little bit wobbly after those squats and lunges so it's okay to hold on to something from there, reaching up high, push the hips forward, drop down, stand tall, spin it round. Again, hold on to if you need to, if your balance is a little bit iffy. Push those hips forward, reach up. Bring it down. If you need to, you can hop to the ground for this one. It's a quad stretch again. Knees together, push those hips forward. Deep breaths. And the other side. And we're pretty much done. So thank you for joining in. Whether you're watching live or you're watching the replay, make sure you let me know what you thought, okay? So I'm gonna shoot off. 
and I'll pop back tomorrow with another live workout. So I was away last week on holiday with the kids and the family. So I missed you, but we're back on it now. So I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye for now.